hello guys you have heard the word web scraping or web crawler all around the world like in blogs or any other videos so today we are going to learn how we can scrap the data using python uh, we are going to use a request and beautiful soup for scrapping the data you can simply just install it by using the pip command and if you have any difficulty just uh, comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet then do hit the subscribe button so let's get started so first of all you have to import a request and a beautiful soup then uh, what we are going to do so first of all we take input like how many page you want to scrap so let me just uh, show you the flip cut so we are going to scrap a data of uh, mobile name and its price so there is a page zero but there are multiple pages like there are thousands of pages so how many pages you want to scrap so let me start with the initial page so what we are going to do is just uh, take uh, integer page equal to uh, integer say input so we are going to enter here enter number of pages that you want to scrap after that what we are going to do we are going to run a for loop for each pages so for that for i in range of page so the value of i will be zero at the initial stage and it will increment uh, uh, comparatively so first of all we need the url for scrapping the data so what we are going to do we are going to take a base url uh, let me just uh, copy the url from this website okay so this is our base url for scrapping the data but this is the base one what if for different pages so there will be a final url so for that i make another variable f url which is equal to base url plus i because how it works so as you can see there is a page equal to zero at the end of the url so if i type enter one over here then it will be page number one two it it will do accordingly so that's all about the url now what we are going to do so using the uh, request method we are uh, going to request on that url so for that let make another variable sc which is equal to request dot get me the final url so it will request on the final url and return to the sc now this is the text so what we are going to do we are going to convert it into the html so for that we are going to use beautiful soup so make another variable soup which is equal to beautiful soup and we are going to pass the text of sc and we are going to pass it into the html so html dot parser this is an inbuilt method in a beautiful soup so just don't worry about it if you want to read more about it then uh, you can check the python library website so after that what we are going to do that's all about request just let me print it over here what soup will print uh, let me save the code and uh, okay this is not one dot uh, let me copy the name uh, let's say one okay so there is error concatenation okay so this is the integer so i need to typecast it to this string for concatenation and let's run the code again okay so as you can see that uh, i'm going uh, it's fetching the data from the website all uh, all over the html code and see you can see that the title is poco m3 color view 64 gb and you are so it's all the data from the website now we are going to represent it in a proper way using uh, some other function so what we are going to do i'm just uh, quickly comment it down i'm oh, sorry it's a uh, python okay now what we are going to do so we are going to fetch the phone and its price so let me make another variable called phone so for that 
there is a function soup dot find all which are going to find all the data accordingly so for that uh, i am working with the division i will explain it why i used the division you can uh, use anything and another is price for that uh, sorry it's pri price and for that same method soup dot find all and use the division now here what we are going to do so first of all we need to find a class that are representing phone and its price so again go to the website and quickly inspect the code so as you can see that uh, this block of code representing the uh, name of the phone so what you have to do this is the division method and in its class so just quickly copy this class name and uh, here you have to write a uh, class and uh, paste it over here same for the uh, price just write down class and uh, copy the class name again so what you have to do you have to inspect its price and you have to copy the class name and paste it over here so what it does it will find all the division with this class and store it into the phone and this will same for the price so this phone and uh, phone and price are list so what we are going to do using a for loop we are going to print it so make a variable count for each and every thing uh, each and every part of the list so again need another for loop we say phone name in a phone because we are going to print a phone accordingly and we are going to print a price of it so what we do print phone and we are going, going to use count over here and dot text because we are going to print the text of it again print price of particular count and dot text and what we have to do we have to increment count by one after printing the data so increment by one so let's run the code and check it out how it works i'm going to add uh, one over here okay so it works as you can see that uh, it will print the data so first first for page one it will print uh, realme nazaro 50a so let's go to the code you can see realme nazaro 15a it's first value 11499 so as you can see it prints 1499 so you can do it for multiple uh, multiple pages let me just add uh, wait uh, let me add here just printing dummy string so we can differentiate it okay that's it uh, let me run the code again i am going to say two pages first and second so yeah that's it so as you can see this is the first page realme navarro there are the last value is a redmi 9 i sport so as you can see the last value of this page is a redmi 9 pro and in the second page the first value is realme navarro 50i and uh, realme navarro 50a uh, there might be a uh, some uh, up and down but it will fetch all the data and it's not going to uh, repeat it down so yeah that's it for today guys and if you have any doubt uh, sorry sorry i think it's the repeating the data redmi 9 i sport and redmi 9 i sport both the data are same it's just uh, going over the same loop hold on a second let me fix it down quickly what's the error so first of all okay it's hit on this let me print the f url for my understanding and i am going to comment it down okay save the code and uh, Okay, so it's at zero 
when I type one. Okay, it's a zero and one. So what's the changes in the URL? Okay, so as you can see, the page will be two for uh, second page and for first page it will be one okay so i got the error uh, here the for loop starts from zero so what you I, I have to do i have to increment i plus one because the page will be one and two so oh, yeah i think that's it let me save the code and uncomment it Okay, save the code and uh, run it again. Write down two pages. Okay, so yeah, now the data will not uh, reflect it. You can see Realme Nazaro 15A for first page and the second page Realme 8i. So both the data are different. Let me quickly go to the second page over here. Yeah so both are different so data are not uh, reflecting so that's it for web scrapping guys you can do for different kind of products for different kind of website for amazon flipkart uh, snaptail mantra whatever you want and you can build your own application like uh, compare the value of phones from different website and you can return the uh, list value so user can buy from that website so hope you guys enjoyed the video and please share the video if you like my content thank you guys